girls. They play the games. Uh, you know, they read the comic books, and uh, uh, it, it's amazing to me. My my son, who was born when we did Empire Strikes Back, so he has two passports. You know, he has an English passport. He's my go-to guy when I have to call him and I say, Nathan, somebody asked me about Kazizik. What's Kazizik? He goes, Dad, that's the Wookiee planet. I thought, oh, you know, another George Lucas word desperately in need, in need of more vowels because it's K-Y-Z-Z-K-X, you know, unpronounceable names. But uh, you never get shake, but used yes. to it, you know. Uh, it never really went away because I thought, you know, after the finish of the first trilogy, there's always something new, uh, a new something coming, a new James Bond, a new Superman, or whatever, and eventually we'd just be a fond memory, but it never really went away. And the, the real passionate fans were, are so supportive, even when you're, you know, doing an off-Broadway show in a, a, a theater that only has 900 seats. They're there for you through thick and thin, which has been really important to me. It's really, uh, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be sitting here now. I'm talking about the Joker. Okay. Bueno, pues muchísimas gracias. Eh, vamos por concluida la, la conferencia de prensa. Vamos a tomar una, unas pequeñas fotos. Vamos a hacerlo en, en orden, por favor.